due to the many questions about secondary cost postings and CO documents that reached us, we have decided to dedicate a video to this topic. The focus will be on transactions which were initiated in controlling and on the question of how these transactions are reflected in financial accounting and in the Universal Journal in SAP S4 HANA. We will cover cost allocations, internal activity allocations, overhead cost calculation, and order settlement. We start with cost center allocations. The new app, Run Allocations, shows you all cost center and profit center assessment and distribution cycles that have been executed up to the current period. We pick one of them and check what has been allocated. In this example, we have allocated from the administration cost center to the sales cost center 7,000 euros, to the research and development cost center 2,000 euros, and to the production cost center 6,000 euros. As allocations in S4 HANA are fully integrated with financial accounting, the allocation cycles must be assigned to a ledger in our case the leading ledger 0L. In the messages we see the accounting document number that was created along with the cost allocation. We would not see this if we would run the cost center allocation in SAP ECC. We can use this number to analyze values in financial accounting. Take the journal entries analyzer for example. This new app provides a T-accounting view for all transactions that end up in financial accounting. In T-accounting all entries are divided into debit and credit and are assigned either to profit and loss or balance sheet accounts. Only one GL account was affected by the cost center allocations. This is a profit and loss account with the number 930100. In SAP ECC, this account would be a secondary cost element of the type assessment. In SAP S4 HANA secondary cost elements are converted to GL accounts of the type secondary costs and together with accounts of the type primary costs are a part of the chart of accounts. As for the cost center allocations, debit stays for received and credit for sent values. Further attributes can be seen in the table view. The senders and receivers are displayed in the cost center column. The reference document 14 is the number of the original allocation document. It is also stored in the Universal Journal. In the Universal Journal, we see the accounting document number in the column document number and the original CO document number in the column reference document. In total, there are eight line items in the leading ledger. You may ask yourself why so many line items? Well, each line item is assigned to several characteristics from both areas finance and controlling. If there are values with different characteristics, multiple line items are created in this table. In our example all items are assigned to the same main FICO organizational units such as company code, controlling area, profit center, segment, and operating concern. They are, however, assigned to different sending and receiving cost centers and functional areas. The extension of FI documents to include CO dimensions in one table differentiates the Universal Journal from the general ledger tables in SAP ECC. In SAP ECC the FI, CO, and COPA characteristics are stored in different tables. Since all CO transactions end up in the Universal Journal, it is important to differentiate them from each other. This can be done by analyzing the business transaction type and the reference process. You can use the reference process, ACAL, to distinguish allocations from other CO processes. With the business transaction type, you can see what kind of allocations were performed for example, ACAA, which means cost center actual cost assessment. All eight line items are assigned to the same account of the type secondary costs with number 930100. 
The allocated values are stored in multiple currencies. These are all currencies types activated in financial accounting. There is no longer any distinction between finance and controlling currencies. Therefore, all currency types activated for the leading ledger are relevant for all controlling transactions stored in the leading ledger. Let's now take a look at an internal activity allocation. With a production order confirmation, actual costs of 78 euros are posted to the production order for six hours of the activity setup. The activity is provided by the cost center production. In the production order cost report, these costs are assigned to the secondary cost element 940150. Here we see the original document number of the confirmation. In the Universal Journal, we find this posting by entering the original document number 6 as the reference document. As we use two ledgers for parallel accounting, line items are generated for each ledger, although there are no differences in values between ledgers in this case. Similar to the cost center allocations, each line item is assigned to the organizational units, company code, controlling area, segment, profit center, and functional area. In contrast to the cost center allocations, there is no assignment to profitability segment and operating concern, as we have not activated an update of the account-based COPA for these types of postings. The setup costs are stored in the GL account number 940150 of the type secondary costs. This corresponds to the cost element we have seen in the production order cost report. Two line items stored in the leading ledger belong to this account, the credit line for the sending cost centers and the debit line for the receiving production order. Moreover, activity types related to the confirmation are also stored in the Universal Journal. The amount is stored in all currencies that are activated in financial accounting including the group currency and the currencies of a parallel valuation. In the journal entry report, we can see this document in the T-account view. For each activity type, there is a debit and a credit entry on the same profit and loss account, but with different account assignment objects, cost center and order. We return to the production cost report after an actual overhead cost allocation has been executed during a month-end closing. In the first two lines we see overhead costs, 78 euros of production overhead under the cost element 920700 and 387 euros of material overhead under the cost element 920600. In the original CO document, we see the senders, the production and R&D cost centers, and the receiver, the production order. In the accounting document, we see the same values and CO objects reference to the GL accounts. In the journal entries report, we see again the accounting document number in the column journal entry and the original CO document number in the column reference document. It looks almost exactly like the document that was created with internal activity allocation. The difference lies in the accounts that are posted to. The account for internal allocations differs from the account for overhead costing in terms of the cost element category assigned in GL account master data. Just like in SAP ECC, 41 still stays for overhead rates, 42 for assessment, and 43 for internal activity allocation. Learn how these master data is created by watching our video Secondary Costs in SAP S4 HANA. A quick look at the Universal Journal shows that the overhead postings look almost exactly here like the internal activity allocations. The way to distinguish them from each other is to look at the business transaction type and reference process assigned to the line items. The last transaction we investigate is a production order settlement. 
This production order has delivered 10 pieces of a material to valuated stock. Based on material target costs, production variances of 68 euros have been determined and settled to the material stock. The CO line item report shows us the cost element 52,300 under which the variances have been credited to the order and the offsetting account 694,120 under which they were debited to the material stock. The settlement document shows us the CO document number 6 and provides us with references to the related accounting documents. In addition to common FI and CO documents, we see a profitability analysis document and a material ledger document have been created along with this settlement. The reason is the active material ledger actual costing and the transfer of production variances by variance categories to COPA. If we take a closer look at the FI document, we notice that the accounts used for order settlement are of the type primary costs. This is always the case if the settlement receiver is not an internal CO object. If you would settle the variances from one order to another, the accounts would be of type secondary costs and the accounting document would be similar to those of cost center allocations. In the Universal Journal we see that the settlement values have been posted to both ledgers, leading and local ledger, even though there were no differences in the values between these ledgers. In each ledger there are two items, one with the account 523,000 used to credit the production order, and one with the account 694120 to debit the material stock. As the values have been also transferred to COPA, we see the assignment of profitability segment and operating concern in each item. The second item, which contains values on a material variance account, has additional attributes, material and valuation area, which are relevant for material ledger. Let's summarize. In SAP S4 HANA, all cost elements, primary and secondary, are created as GL accounts. All CO transactions lead to journal entries in financial accounting and are split into debit and credit line items. The original CO document number is stored in the Universal Journal as a reference document. The original of ACO transaction can be identified using the reference process and business transaction type stored in the Universal Journal. The journal entries in the Universal Journal contain all relevant attributes from the original CO documents including organizational units, CO object assignments, COPA segment and material ledger characteristics.